Hello to everyone. Today, we will discuss about the input and output devices. Okay. So, the input devices. So, there are types of input devices. But, before that, so we will define what is input device. So, what is an input device? Input device is any hardware device that sends data to the computer. Also, it is any peripheral used to provide data and control signals to an information processing system. Without any input devices, a computer would only be a display device and not allow users to interact with it, much like a TV. So, what are the types of input devices? So, example jan the keyboard. Keyboards allows a computer user to input letters, numbers, and other symbols into a computer, thus allowing the user to type. Next one, the pointing device. A pointing device is a hardware input device that allows the user to move the mouse pointer the examples are yeah, yung moving object such as mouse and yung tra may trackball yeah, mouse so example of based on touching a surface yung kasabi yung light pen and then yung mga touch screen devices input po yun so composite devices input devices such as buttons and joysticks can be combined on a single physical device that could be thought of as a composite device. Yung mga controller po, kasama dyan. Yung controller. Game controller. So, they are part in input device. So, image and video input devices. These input devices are used to digitize images or video from the outside world into the computer. The information can be stored in a multitude of formats depending on the user's requirement, such as the cameras, and the cameras, and then scanners also. So scanners, there are several types of scanners. Number one is the optical scanners. Optical scanner also simply known as a scanner accept documents consisting of text or images and converts them to machine readable form. These devices do not recognize individual letters or images rather. They recognize light, dark, and colored areas that make up individual letters and images. Okay. So now, barcode reader. Barcode readers contain photoelectric cells that scan or read barcodes or vertical zebra strips marks printed on product containers. Next, the magnetic card reader. Card readers, the encoded information is stored on a thin magnetic strip located on the back of the card. When the card is swiped through the magnetic card reader, the information is read. Optical Mark Reading or OMR is a system that gathers information by using a hardware device that detects a reflection or a absence of reflection from a card or, or piece of paper. For example, dyan yung sa Lotto. Yan, yung reader na Lotto. May scan siya. Biometrics. So, when referring to computers and security, Biometrics is the identification of a person by the measurement of their biological features. Ayan yung biometrics. Ito sa finger. Ito naman sa biometrics sa mata. And then magnetic ink character recognition or MICR. It's a font capable of recognition using magnetically charged ink. Computers equipped with the right hardware and software can print or read the character printed in such ink. So, ito yan. Magnetic ink character recognition. And then, part of 
input device SD, audio input device, an audio output, an audio uh, output device can be used an input device in order to capture produce sound. Okay, so yeah, yung recorder siya, recorder. So process. So in process, the computer itself can be processed through the input diretso sa um, computer hardware kasama dyan yung CPU, RAM and other components of hardware to process the data and it will become into the output so types of output but before that, what is an output device? so an output device is any piece of computer hardware and equipment used to communicate the results of data processing carried out by which an information processing system which converts the electron electronically generated information into human readable form okay so the examples of output device are the printers an external hardware device responsible for taking computer data and generating a hard copy of that data printers are one of the most Use peripherals on computers and are commonly commonly used to print text, images, and photos. In inkjet printer, the laser printer, the multi-function printer, yung yung multi-function printer such as yung three in one, kasama dyan, print, scan, and copier. Thermal printer, that matrix printer, ayan and the braille inboxer so those are the kinds of printer okay so display devices a display device is an output device that visually conveys text graphics and video information information show on a display device is called soft copy because the information exists electronically and is displayed for a temporary period of time so, such as yung sa film, film showing or sa video. Okay. So, part ng sa GPS to sa monitor. Okay, ayan. Monitor din siya. Ano niya? Monitor din. So, audio output device. Yung kanina, yung ah, naging input device, yung speaker kasi yung, yung part na pagre-record. So, ngayon na naman, yung um, audio output device because speaker is a part of output device a hardware device connected to a computer's sound card that outputs sound generated by the computer okay so example of the output device the speaker and that's all the topic the input and output device of a computer. So thank you so much and God bless po.